Okay, here we go. We're back here yeah, in the Nats World Cup Qualifiers Week Number Four. I will wrapping things up here in the what, what, what am I drinking today? Magnus Division. Well, some would call it the BJP Division. I don't know. I, I see that label there, and it doesn't mean anything to me because by the time you get to this division and you've had enough to drink, like I have, it kind of blurs. So we'll, we'll call it the Magnus Division. Anyway, Week Number Four. Uh, boy, high request here. Of course, we have Lizards versus... What do you mean this is not the game that was requested? You know what? Piss off! No, seriously, it's about time these teams actually got a wee bit of a gander. We've got to show the other ones. It's called Fair's Fair. Of course, once things get into week five beyond, now we can start picking and choosing our games. So, let's get it started in here. Bretonians, Lizards. Lizards, of course, getting themselves a free square. Let's take a look. As we well know, the Bretonians crippled team, but they're trying to recover ads for the Lizards. Uh, of course, they got a free skink. So, who are your loners today? You've got not one, but two peons. There's loners in the front line. Just ought to make it fun. And there's that wonderful skill, Fend. Absolutely a darling skill. And many have talked about, you know, is it a useless skill? And people have noted, you know what? You can do great things with it, you just don't like buying it as your first skill. Ah, well, there we go. Um, nom, 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 hey, it's a stun. Not what he wants, though. He'd like to actually see something die. Well, don't worry, it's the Battalions. <laughs> Give it time. So, the Battalions have actually come in here with a crazy combination by this point here. They are trying to fight their way back into at least contention in the division. They're becoming basically bottom orders, but they're trying to find their way back up. So he's only had three rerolls. He's got a bribe, Budweiser, baby. He's even got a wizard, of course, and a Pothecary. As for the lizards, he's got the fame. Don't know why. Oh, I suspect it's just because of an association with the BBPN. And, of course, he's got the Pothecary. Now, you can see here, he's brought in a brand new, fresh cross wall. Let's see if anything happens with this one. And he's got the six sources, and of course he's got, well, like I said, a couple of skeeks. He's fine right now. So the Petonians, it's all going to be about Iron Man football and doing what they can. So let's see how this coach decides how he's going to play this up here. And his answer is, you know what, he'd actually like to take the skeek out. Or not. Nope. He's decided, nope. Source, temptation. Finish him. Well, he got a stun out of it. That's something. And now, here would be more interesting statement here. If you're the Bretonians, now that you've got a lizard in the front, it, it, that's exactly it, my brother. That's exactly it. Silence! I kill you! Well, it did nothing. Didn't even get through the skin. This is what happens when you foul a player on its head does nothing because it's not a vital component. I'm going to explain this one. Look, yeah. The heads have had nothing to do with the ability to play football, just ask Ripper. Okay, meanwhile, there's a solid hit there. He's stunned. Oh my. But from the loser's viewpoint, yeah, that's sweet bugger all. Okay, Lizards here, well he did get the ball, very easy peasy. Ah, uh, it looks like he's just going to set himself up for a, a cage of convenience, probably on this one side. And meanwhile, he's got a couple of extra skeeks coming here, trailing up. He's going to go for the quick score, it looks like. Here's your lizards. And you look at what condition this team is, he's pretty banged up. Now, you can see he's actually playing with a wee bit of respect here for the, for the wizard. So he's not caging it up the way he normally would. It's a shame, because what could possibly go wrong? No, really, what could possibly go wrong? It doesn't work in this league. I've seen some of the other games. Fireball? Sweet buffet! I've seen politicians that have been more effective than the fireball this season. Giggity, giggity, giggity! Alright! Well, it's a stun. Mind you, the Bretonians would love if some of these things weren't just stuns. KO would do them great. If they're penetrating armor. But then nothing else. There's a solid punch down, down he goes, and they have themselves a white screen. Again, the Bretonians are pretty amazed by that. 
Does he get this one? Crap! Well, don't worry, you know, he you know, receives the bribe. Damn, I'm good! And well, that solves that problem with Constable Laird. Of course, from the Bretonian's viewpoint, it's a waste of a bribe because, frankly, nothing was achieved. And I thought it was the Bretonians. I would ask for the refund because, let's face it, they need anything they can get in this game. Alright, lizards, well, back to work. Well, he dreams of bionics, but, you know, you're not quite associated with chaos. Go talk to the gnomes about that one. Alright, Cook's all swinging away. Eh, let's just face it, the entire team swinging away. Another good solid bunch. Down he goes. Well, the Bretonians are trying to make a scrum of this, because they'd like to see this fail, because, face it, he doesn't have the skill. He's one in nine should be the bane of him, but so far, hasn't happened yet. So, from a Bretonian viewpoint, is that a wee bit frustrating? Here you are, turn three. There still hasn't been a single one in nine rolled by the Lizard team. Yeah, yeah, it's a patience game. Some days it really is a patience game. Uh, and some days the array just says, you know, fuck you, and moves on. It's, it, it's, a, it's a dice game, lads. Some days, and it's what you hate to admit it, it's a sucking dice game. All right. Up the middle. He gets a skink. There he goes. He's finally gotten and knocked him down. About bloody time. And that means the Bretonians, well, they can actually afford to, you know, press in and make life interesting. Well, fails the Dauntless, still gets the one die in, solid punch, down you go. And now it's all up to, well, what are the Lizards going to do about this one? Well, the Lizards do have opportunities here. Yeah? If you want, you can race up, do a quick handoff, and run away with the football. See, now they're happy. This carnage, they don't care who it is. It's a KO, they'll take it. Now it's sort of pushed down. Now, admittedly, if you're the Bretonian, you're not too worried about the KO, considering you've got a couple of extra kegs, the Brewski, that should recover the peon quite nicely. Now, as predicted, here's the play. He's going to go in for the quick handoff. Gets away with it. Maybe. Now oh, that didn't work. Holy dooly! Well, that's your opportunity, Bretonians, but uh, not too sure how you're going to get this one. You decide to fireball. Oh, well, kind of worked. Surprise, motherfucker. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't get any penetrations, and of course, two of the skinks actually do survive. But it's an interesting gamble. Good, solid hit. Still can't get anything. Lousy bounce, unfortunately. Well, now it comes down to... How you feel about risk is the business? No, seriously, I, that, that's actually my question here. What, what is risk? Yeah, it pushes him in the ball. You like to see a result a little better. And again, another over bounce. Well, he decides he's going to move this blitz into the screen. Only voice I would have given is maybe go the other way. Well, here we go. Well, he got a KO out of it at least. That's something. What else makes you wish he had skill? That was easily a casualty if he had the skill. Well, he's trying to rebuild the team. I'll, I'll, I'll give him that, and he's definitely giving what for, and that is an excellent piece of removal. So, carrying on, Lizards have suddenly found themselves in a bit of a scrum they didn't expect to be in. And meanwhile, the one in nine patience continues. Well, he gets away with the uh, easy dodge here. Two more dice, another hit, and another exasperated peon on the ground. Finally, a one in nine out of a one in six. Only took five turns. Gets the blitz, advances forward. And now here's the big question here. Does he actually go and get the ball? More likely. 
Easy peasy, and the bastard is already off and running. Well, no surprises yet. Okay. Okay, well, Bretonians, you have got options, but not all of them are pretty good at this point. All right, let's see what you can do. Okay, makes the dodge. It's a two dice block, of course, absolutely useless. Rerolls gets the block, though, and down he goes. Let this not do! Well, he's out for. Meanwhile, Dotless over here takes him out. And scrums him into the peon. It's a good move. Keeps himself free for later opportunities. And over here. Oh, well done, lad. He'll let out it. It's something. <laughs> you might not have to have the absolutely dirty mud job today. Guess who's not cleaning the privies today? And uh, here's where you can see that strength free skink really does mess up your plans, doesn't it? But you don't expect the skink to be strength three. Well, that one is. Alright, two dice. Push me, push you. Does manage to clear the ball. Skink gets away with the stunty dodge again. Over here, solid punch into the peon. Let's see how well the dirt holds up. Ah, that dirt's holding up just fine. Meanwhile, down here, push me, push you. It's a bit of a glory pick. But like I said, you know, here we are, turn six. He's only one and nine walks out. Look, there's a chain of sixes, and the bastard's off again. Doesn't add off. And he's able to move the other source now. Admittedly, you do have this player here, but you're going to have to get rid of this one. Yes, it's not exactly an easy position, is it? All right. Well, he's going to try it anyway. Well, instead he changes his mind, he's going to go after this one. There you go, solid hit. Just put the tackle zone on him. Stinks of bloody invincible. You've heard me say this a few times on the cast, haven't you? Well, it seems to be happening again, isn't it? Okay, let's face it. Round one was pretty deadly to skinks. That was, of course, it was deadly to sources. Now... Well, the skanks seem to be annoying and vulnerable. They seem to be wearing this snotling brand under arm they keep getting about. As for, you know, the sources, well, they're on the fucking own, aren't they? Now, there we go. Solid hit once again. Pushes the skank out, clears things away. Ball's free. And there you go. It's an easy, easy score thing. <laughs> Well, no surprises there, sorry to say. I, I do give credit, the Bretonians did have a bit of a crack at it there. But, like I said, sometimes it's just a patient waiting game as you're waiting for an average to finally happen. And it just wasn't on that drive. But, you know what? Hold your head, you did pretty well. It's just unfortunate the fireball just didn't do more. But, you know, sometimes people figure out fireballs actually work. Thinking, oh, it's guaranteed. No, it's not. 50% chance. Even just to even try and knock them down, then they roll the armor, then they roll the injury to help, then they get the babes, and then you get the women. I think I lost thought there. Anyway. Interesting setup here. The Bretonians, as you can see, defensively love putting the five peons and everyone else just you know, covering things up. So, how many turns do you have on the clock? You've got two turns. It's not perfect, lad. But if you want, crazy can get on the bus and you can make a hell of a run out. You're just going to need someone in the back to throw the bloody ball. And you're going to need at least one, maybe two eligible receivers. It's possible. If you have at least dodge on maybe one of your blitzes, yeah. Where do you go? Well, don't move him when I'm showcasting him that. Uh, or you can help go strong one side and... Get out for. Well, you wouldn't mind killing a skink off. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? Uh, looks like the Bretonians. Look at why are the two peons back here? No, seriously, it is actually a question. Why have we got two peons back here? 
And then I think of that and go, what's his thinking? And his thinking is, just in case these sneaky little bastards come charging in, or a blitz or something like that. All right. Are we done setting up yet? Any day now. Come on, lad. Oh, God. Congress doesn't take this sucking long. Okay, are we done? All right, they're done. Here we go. Solid kick. Onside, and yeah, I told you it was going to be a bloody blitz. Damn, I'm good. Here he is, the biggest douche of the universe. In all the galaxies, there's no bigger douche than you. You've reached the top, the pinnacle of douche dumb. Good going, douche. Your dreams have come true. Do you sense a bias in this broadcast? I don't know. Okay, we're having a bit of a sport on it. But I got to admit, if you're looking at the dice are going, look, they're not getting enough of the Bretonians. His dice statistics have actually come at average. The dice statistics, though, so far over the Lizards have been it's astronomical, considering on his blocks, how many 1 in 9s has he rolled? 1, and that was a 1 in 36. After that, he hasn't rolled a single 1. Dodging. Flawless. Hasn't rolled a 1 in 9 on his dodges either. And yeah, he's made enough of them. And, well, you can see, now suddenly you wish you kept the two peons back, don't you? It was a great idea, lad. And then you changed your mind. No, your, your first instincts, I'm sad to say, lad, but absolutely right. You knew this was going to happen. All right. All right. Here's the question. Does he get the ball? Does it matter? Of course he gets the sucking ball. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, well, if you're the Bretonians, I hate to say it, that's your target. No, seriously, that's your target. Mark these up. That makes perfect sense. But that's your target. Of course, he rolls the one in nine. Who else would? Down he goes. Frees two players up. He's remembering he has to score just in case. That's a good move. Ah, the fun of peons. Wait, one, two, three, four. Why there? He's the one who's got to be tagging him just in case, or at least to add him. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, here's the blitz. It's really putting a lot of gamble in this blitz working here. And it does indeed. Well done. I'm happy. Surprise, motherfucker. And again, here we go. Makes the clean. Solid hit. Oh, well, his bell's rung all right. Oh, don't worry, I'm hoping he comes back soon enough. And meanwhile, the Lizards, well... Potentially, he actually can still call if he goes running over here, hands it off, and does something. And, well... Here's his plan. It's a crazy plan. It's absolutely an insane plan. There you go, finally! See? That's what normal dice look like. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. Anyway. Here comes Crazy. He's on the bus. He dodges through, makes another dodge, makes that one, even makes more dodges, and there of course is the handoff. Work complete. Uh, and well, there you do, he's in, it's good. Well, that just shows you how drunk that coach is, it really is. Okay, that explains much. He's so drunk, he doesn't fucking care about what's going on with dice. His crocs are also the game, and he's just not giving two shots. It hasn't mattered. Okay. I guess what, that, believe it or not, you're not out of it yet. It's still turn eight. All that was was one turn. You still got a turn, lad. Okay. Guess what, lad? He can't do that to you again. No, seriously, he can't. There's not enough turns to do it on. I've actually had to explain that one going, Oh, he blitzed! He can throw a teammate and get the ball. Look, the ball still got a land. It's still in the rafters, so no, it doesn't work. I should know. I've tried to argue that the other way too. But I've got such a shitty grin in my face. Everyone knows going, You're bloody lying your ass off. Yes, I am. I'm the goblin coach. I'm supposed to occasionally. All right. Of course he's got an extra one. Oh, 
Three dice, he's got a result, he's got a hit, and he's got nothing. Your skills are inferior. Uh, it's that damn snotling under armor. I don't know how much money Yorick's actually making off of that, but it better be a pretty penny. That is just impressive so far. I wonder if the goblins can buy that. If it'll fit. He went as a jock strap. Look into this. Got it. Okay. Meanwhile. Well, not the result he really wanted. We've looked having him shoved away. But you know what? He's got a gift for you. And his gift, of course, well, it's a boot. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! Well, there you go. He's <laughs> one Well done, lad. You haven't given up yet. I agree. That was just a horrible prediction on my part. I'm sorry, I haven't seen the game. You just get a feeling for it some days. And you had the right setup, too. And then you felt, you know what? What are the odds? Well, apparently better than average. Okay. Don't give up the fight, lad. Just don't give up the fight. You love, I, I absolutely love Petonians. Fun fact, current season of the NAF. I'm running Bretonians like crazy. I absolutely am. To prove a point, <laughs> basically my answer. Um, to show that, quite frankly, their rating currently in the NAF is completely incorrect and is shown by the recent results coming out of one of the majors, the Dungeon Ball there, in the Bundeswehr Republic of Deutschland. Yeah, I will mind here. The highest Bretonian team came 50 fucking fourth. I guess no one knows how to play the team out there. But as I've seen European coaches, they have such a completely different style than your North American lads. And I'm used to it. Because I, I love the North American lads, but because let's face it, you are crazy. Alright, try this again, lad. See, there we go. Finally. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! Fails the Dauntless. Doesn't care, I love him. Okay. Well, if we can keep this up here, maybe there's a fighting chance to make a great and stunning comeback. Alright, push me, push you. And a bit of conservative here because, well, as long as the skink breathes, someone can actually get the ball. Let's face it, skinks, otherwise known as goblins on rollerblades, fails to pick up the ball. And well, it's a flat idea. Now I can see in right now, I'm just taking a look over there, and well, the Batonian coach is not too happy about that. Oh, what's that? A one in nine? It's amazing! Tonight we hunt! That's amazing what happens if you get the translator for the sources. Alright, sort of attack, down he goes, and. Well, that's it, and he's actually starting to put some pressure in here because he's got to stop turning this thing around. It, it's, he's great, 2-0, but he's starting to lose some heavy hitters, finally. All right, Lizard's redeploying, like I said. They're trying to change the nature of this one here. And solid punch. Well, down he goes. And yeah, you see it right there, here come the skeeks. In case you drop the ball again, lad, that, that's exactly what this is. And these two extra lizards inside, yeah, this is going to make life interesting. Yep, peons, got to do your job, mark the bastards up. And now the fun part, you actually got to pick up the ball. And I don't blame the coach at this point here, Pre pretty much just putting this off. He's not looking forward to this part. There you go, 1 and 9, cannot re-roll it. Doesn't care though, it's a push me, push you in the end. More push me, push you, he'd like to get rid of another one, okay, it is. Oh god, come on! And now he's here to f*** us! Such language! 
Yeah, I predicted that, didn't I? Bloody hell! And they wonder why at least one blitz ends up buying sure hands. Shut up and take my money! Well, there we go. Here's a quick stun, and it's broken another one of the sources free. And he's gonna make life as miserable as possible. Meanwhile, yeah, here come the skinks. Good move, good deployment. Coach knows what he's doing. And here we go. Marks the ball up. And now here's crazy on the bus. One die, of course he gets it. You know what to do with that big fat butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Punch the butt cheeks. Yeah, well, here we go. Does he get the ball? Oh, come on! Godlike! All that effort, and then what happens? The other bastard behind it gets it. And he's got sidestep, so here's the problem. You can't surf him. Not from lack of trying, though, lad. Here we go. Two dice. Come on. He's looking for just a both down. Cannot get it. Has to stay there, thanks to the sidestep. Well, now what is he supposed to probably do? Up there, there you know, now he gets it over here. Of course he does. Solid it. And people are asking about that. Yeah, congratulations. Looking for a 2 and 3, followed by 2 and 3. Failed both. Maybe the Bretonians are getting a wee bit nuffled. Ah, it's Blood Bowl for you. And sometimes the other team, well, he's just getting some hot dice, and he's running with them. Mind you, he's looking at his pain, going, he's not too sure about that, but, well, score says otherwise. And let's face it, it's a World Cup qualifiers. That's what matters, is your score. But let's not fault the Lizards. You know, being smart, had the player in position for it. He's gone, and then he is, it's in one more time. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. Well, he's running out of options here. Well, that pretty much, I would figure at this point, what's your option here? Well, you've got all kinds of crazy options. But I think the game is out of your reach, lad. But, you know, you've put on a hell of a fight. 3-0. Let's see if you can get some honor back. Your Bretonians, damn it, he's supposed to get some honor back. That's a thing, right? Come on. And the Germans bomb Pearl Harbor. Did the Americans give up? Wrong country, isn't it? Okay, sorry. I've seen that film. It's a great film. Now an eye kick. This should make your life a little bit easier. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay. Let's try this again. Can we get a better result this time? Of course not. What was I thinking? I've had it pointed out to me statistically when you do three dice, you have blocked, he doesn't. Statistically, odds are you knock him down. No, I'm serious. But it's dice plus hot distribution, and that's how you miss. It, it's it's dice theory. If you took it by straight math, it should work every time. But we all know it's a dice game, so it's called distribution. But meanwhile, let's take a look here. Of course the double skull. Oh well, at least he finally gets out of the mess. Solid punch. Oh well, it's all you have to lay the food in. Congratulations, there we go. I'm gonna lay the boot into this one. Alright, that works. Fine for me. And of course, did absolutely nothing. You just made the list! Someone's cleaning the privies tonight, aren't they? Alright, you've got the ball. What are you gonna do with it? You've got a plan. That's a plan. That works for me. The Lizards, as you can actually see at this point here, are now finally actually short players. The Bretonians, to their own surprise, nothing. Like I said, it's not the fault of the coach, and the team's doing its best trying to play to up to the caliber of the coach. Uh, but Nuffle's got all the ideas, but he's hanging on for the ride. He really is. He well can't fault the other coach. He's seeing how the dice are falling, so he's pressing the score, because that's what's going to get him out of this game. 
least he's not playing sucking elves. Okay. Tonians, we'd like to get out of this situation here. And let's do some more punching escapes for all time's sake. Of course it doesn't work. That came out a little brisk, didn't it? Of course it doesn't work. Because he hasn't failed a dodge, has he? Oh yes, he finally failed a one in nine sort of. Okay. Yeah, it's something. About bloody time. I can do that. Ping on, mocks up the skink. Fine. Rest of them come moving up. Where do you think you're going, Sunshine? It's a good spot. You've got a press, it's got really no choice in the matter. But, you know, this is where the fun of having a, you know, strength 3 skink comes in. Hey, look, it's a normal roll, but he re rolls out of it. Gets the hit. Sloppy! I again, you keep forgetting about this play. Oh, there you go. One in nine. It's about time. Okay. Tonians, can you actually do this one? What's done is done. That's true, but you can probably still do it. Come on. At this point here, it's break and attack. You can pretty much bring every play he's got to bear. There you go. Solid punch. Snotling on the armor holds out. He's still alive. Push me, push you. No surprises. That's it. He's got the ball. Now, oh, still a play going on over here. How well, push me, push you. And it's time to lay your boot in. All right, let's do it again. Did that work this time? Now to start. My nipples explode with the leg! Now the Bretonians are still giving what for, it's just me, I'm not fought enough. Push me, push you, and now you can see the lizards. Well, that's it, they've had enough of playing around over here. And they're going to bring the team back to try and contain this one. Yes, let's face it, even the invisible skinks are starting to fall down. Now oh, look, let's pick on a peon knight. Well, then again, the Bretonians do it every year. It's kind of a new state of affairs. Push me, push you, well, power bend. Peon's free to do whatever the hell he's told to do. And meanwhile, this peon, well... Oh, yes! And dodges away. And yes, it's a good play, it's an ultra receiver. He goes, well, let's face it, this is how the game's going here. Okay, Bretonians have to pursue this one. No surprises. And now you've got a smash all through. Well, the rest of them. Moving their ways up here. Good solid hit. And here we go. That's a good solid hit. Finish her. No, well, he laid an egg. Come on! What else am I going to call him? Her. It. That thing. And running away with the ball. It's a good plan. Everyone else! And you fail! Sigh. Yeah! <sighs> well, I'm returning. Coach, it's just it's one of those games. You just got to suffer through the game. I know, that's about the word for it, lad. <laughs> you just got to get through the game. Finally, something goes right. That was strangely arousing. <laughs> Indeed it was. I can feel all eight my nipples. Woohoo! And the Bretonians go. <laughs> Look, son, it's there. Solid it. Still not breaking, is he? Well, you better go hurry up and score this one. Dona Eis 
Requiem. All right, Bretonians are so silly sometimes when they celebrate. Okay, why so serious? I don't get it. Okay, lizards have required, they have managed to get both the KOs back. Silly wooden turn. Well, is it time for a riot? Calling it right here. It's, he's already got the blitz when I call. How about a riot? Christ. And there was much rejoicing. Uh, it's even a touchback? Are you kidding? Oh, great. A death by inches. <laughs> That's saying something. Well, suddenly, well, Skink's got the ball. It's time to go score a bloody touchdown. He doesn't even need to plan for the two turn. turn, 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 turn. He's got to do it. Oh, boy. Today's gonna suck! Well, Happy All is glad to get off the field. He's sick and tired of this game anyway. And what my answer is, well, you might want to learn how to play the sucking game. You're a permanent member of this team until you die. Which I'm pretty assured by his team coach, I can be arranged. Alright, two dice, Crooksaw, he's getting to work. Well, he hasn't gotten anything, but then again, he hasn't taken part in much of the game. I gotta admit, that was one of the critical fail. No, fails? Fouls! And unfortunately, the foul failed <laughs> to, to, to really unlock things. And again, it's not the coach's fault, really. Well, what do you do? Muffles just gotten a day of it today. Okay. Oh, there we go. One in nine. Way after when it's needed. And well, let's just get on with it here. <laughs> make it stop! Oh, make it stop! Well, it's not over yet, lad. You still gotta go and try and pick on him. And I'm not too sure you can do it. Well, you can bring all his team over and screen the whole thing up. Two dice course doesn't work. Yada yada. <laughs> yes, you've heard this one before. Could have made it three dice. But by this point, like I said, he just wants the game to stop. So, how thoroughly can you stack this one up? Well, there's two. Yeah, now everyone else has got to just stack this line. Ah, that's the power of peons. Come on. Every one of you is going to be taking part in this play, whether you want to or fucking not. You! Two dice! I, I think you'd have to call that one. Course doesn't work. And finally... And someone takes a dive. Sloppy! Oh well! All right, here we go. Solid punch, down he goes. I'm not too sure if that is a hole through, but here we go. Crazy dive through, and yes, of course, that one is actually in. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And well, there you go. Good lord, what a crazy score that one was. So, final result coming out of there. 4-1. Bumbling Fables did show some solid play, solid coaching, and the team did its best, but when someone gets practically hot dice, that's what starts happening. They start slamming it, and of course, K Blitz, he knows what to do with the skinks, get them in there, grab the ball, and run like mad, and it paid off. Because look at it, it's not even that many armor breaks, so it's not like he's outpowering you, it's just the way the game's his skinks are just getting the ball. And yeah, that one critical couldn't pick up the ball, not once, but twice. It's what happens. It's a dice game, but don't worry. You've still got five games ahead of you to recover because the rest of your division, good lord, they're in trouble. Anyway, we're going to catch you on week five. Nuffle, bless your dice.